Hello and welcome to another rock video. This time we're going to have a look at a program called Trajectory Manager. Trajectory Manager is found on the Petrel ribbon under Quality Control in the Rock section of Tools. As Trajectory Manager, we click on the Load button and it will load up all of the trajectories that are in this Petrel project. So, now they've come up, it's found uh, 3,570 trajectories in this project and we find all of the ones that are explicit surveys. So these are ones that have been brought in from earlier Petrel versions and that are not directly editable. We can click on those or select as many of them as we like and we can upgrade these um, to MD Inclination Azimuth. So here it's been updated to MD Inclination Azimuth and it's just changed the name to a default name. Of course, if we didn't want to do that, we could have gone in here and find all of the names that are actually in there already. Uh, take Fred, for example, or we could have just typed in a new name. And then if we take upgrade on this one, you'll notice that it upgrades it in the same way to MD Inclination Azimuth, but it has taken the name that we put into the directory name and renamed it. So in this way here, you could have taken hundreds or thousands of explicit surveys with the default name of Explicit Survey 1 and renamed it to a standard that you wanted to use yourselves and upgraded it to an MD Inclination Azimuth all in one easily go. Now like all of these tools we can right click on them and we can see other things that we can do it. So here we can select it within the Petrel input tree and then from the Petrel input tree we could have gone into settings or any other operation that you want to do there. Um, over on the right hand side here we can see that it's also pulling up information so it's showing you record counts so you can see that this one for example is probably something that has been manually put in at some stage with just a surface and a TD. Um, we find ones over here that are uh, missing entries at the Kelly bushing so we could go in and correct those and fix those to put in an entry at the Kelly bushing that's just select them and then click on the button here add entry at Kelly Bushing and these ones over here let us know whether all of the inclinations and in azimuths in the well are for that trajectory are zero uh, in other words it's a completely dummy trajectory so that's basically a very quick overview of trajectory manager obviously you don't need to upgrade at the same time you could have selected in a whole bunch and renamed it to whatever and just hit rename and those are now all renamed so if you have a, a bunch of surveys that have been through your final QC and you want to rename them all to be final master or definitive or whatever convention your company uses you can select them all in one go like that and update them all in one go Thank you. That was a quick overview of Rock Trajectory Manager.